Yo, what is up, people? It is your boy Sneebles right here, and I hope you guys are once again and a fantastic day today. Okay, so welcome back once again to another episode, of course, on our Fever 21 MK Don's career motor journey. Um, obviously, into now February as well, as you see right now on your screen. Got some tough fixtures coming up. We have got some tough fixtures. Um, fixtures that, you know, have in the past been okay, not been too bad. Um, like Liverpool, for example, we've usually done quite well against them. And this could be quite tricky considering sometimes I mix up my team for cup games, so FA Cup, you know, um, obviously League Cup if I had them in there, uh, Champions League, you know, whatever. But, um, but yeah, so also I will be switching the players around, a few of them maybe. If not, I might play a strong team, then just play a weak team against Fulham, which is our next game after that. So, you know, 29th, 1st, uh, 2nd, uh, yeah, I might have to play, you know, I might have to do that really, just, just rest a few players, um, which I usually do anyways. Um, but yeah, then we have Everton after that, so after Fulham we have Everton a week later, and then we have Inter Milan a few days later for the second leg of the Champions League. So there should be the four games played in this, there should be, um, again, fixtures might change if we beat Liverpool and go through to the next round, of course, of the FA Cup, then things will change, so you know, whether we do um, get through and whether the fixtures change again, I always say it, they, they just seem to change all the time, because obviously you, know, you have to obviously have fixtures changing because yeah, you just if you're progressing through to a tournament, um, you know you have to fit those fixtures in. So you know it's understandable, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there will be the fixtures, of course, in this uh, video. Um, so I came off there, there. But um, yeah, so going back onto the last four results, which was very comfortable on all of them except Palace. So we beat Newcastle three 0 in our last game. Uh, beat Inter Milan six 0 Absolutely demolished them. How we did, I don't know. But hey, we should be through to the next round. Uh, Sheffield United had a nice comfortable 2-0 win at least, um, should really get more against a team like that, but they're quite hard to break down, believe it or not. Um, and then obviously Palace with the big eye opener, which was a 4 draw uh, with them, so you know, wasn't easy that game. Um, Palace played really well, a really solid team, uh, but managed to get a point in the end with bringing two goals back in the last, what, 7 minutes? It was incredible. Uh, good fight back for my players anyway, let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, so um, also showing you my squad in the last video. Obviously, a subscriber wanted to actually see my squad, what I had, and all that. So I hope you guys didn't mind me doing that um, for you guys. Um, uh, in, yeah, in the last video, um, and I'll do that probably even with the new fever coming out. I'll probably do it every transfer window because it takes a lot of time uh, showing you certain things with you know, with my players and stuff. I don't want to make the videos so so long where it's just going to be me explaining about this and saying that this player's that, you know, whatever. I know it's part of the video, but, you know, I'll do every other transfer window. That's that's probably what I'll do every transfer window. I'll show you my team, how well they've got on, how I think they're doing, and how I think that they're, they're going to do in the future, and blah, blah. So, you know, that's probably what I'll do. Um, that's what I want to do anyways. But, um, but yeah, so I just think it's the best thing. Like I said, don't want to waste a lot of your time and just go blab it on, like I'm now, for example. Um, but, yeah, I'm just explaining, of course, right now. But, um, yeah, I just... Hope you didn't mind me doing that. Um, and if uh, if you want that and keep it like that, then just let me know, of course, um, and I'll stick to that. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead with the first game. We're not even going to talk anymore. We're just going to go straight ahead with it and hopefully get the first win uh, with Liverpool. Of course, like I said, FA Cup uh, fifth round ain't going to be easy, but it might be easy. Who knows? Um, sometimes it, it can be easy. Sometimes it and it's just one of those things, isn't it? So, um, but yeah, Liverpool, like I said, fifth round. Let's see if we can get the job done. That's it, Pavlovic again, he finally finds the back of the net. He had a good chance early on in the, in the game, whether I showed you it again, I don't know, but you know, he should have finished it probably, but he didn't. And Pavlovic comes up with the goods there, it's a great finish from him to be honest, to be really honest, a fantastic goal. To put us in the lead, as you see here, right in the corner. Decent finish, 1-0. Oh, oh yeah, go on, that's it. Wow, got a bit away of that. But Pavlovic for 2-0. Oh, he's missed it again. Oh, God, wow, how? <laughs> Gee, that's awful, man. Pavlovic could have a hat-trick by now. <laughs> wow. Very cheap goal, really, to give away. Oh, it's a bit unfortunate. Should should be a goal. It's not a bad goal. It's not really wrong with the finish itself, but it's just cheekily back heeled it. It's another back heel as well. 
one one. No, no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. My worst moment as a FIFA player ever. You know when you're in that build-up, you're trying to change player. I was doing something like that, hence why I pressed A. But obviously, for some reason, because then the ball's with your keeper, it's then the, the game's thinking that you're going to want to throw it out. I didn't press that. Um, speechless. I am actually speechless. Really speechless. Shocking, shocking, shocking game. I am trying so hard to be so calm right now. I... It's just a game. It's just a game, Sneebles. It's just a game. I just, I have no words with this game anymore. I am so glad. I said it quite a few times. I know if you guys have been watching my videos, but I am so close now to re break breaking point where it's just this game is just ridiculous. I swear down to you, you, you should know. Some of you must have been through what I've sort of been through before. Um, what yeah, what I've done before. You must have, guys. You must have. All right, the ball. As I remember, I've pressed A, yes, but I didn't I didn't press A when I had the ball with the keeper. Sorry, but no, I didn't. So, why would, to be honest, why would you roll it there? So, it just answers every question. It answers all your questions, why would I, I, I play it there? So, yeah. Um, but, you know, I mean, I don't get me wrong, I do usually roll it out, but not like that. When there's like four Liverpool players there. Okay, so, the game, like, we, we've lost, we just have to move on. That's it. FIFA 22 is around the corner. Um, I can't wait. I can't. If I can be honest and just say it like this, I can't fucking wait because literally this game now is just getting ridiculous. So the first game in this video, and it, that that's that. Okay, on to our next game against Fulham. Um, like I said, I'm actually speechless that game. I I can't stop talking about. It. You know me. It, it takes a while to sort of swallow, but I just really am baffled. I really am. It just makes this game so bad to play, but. Just gonna have to take it, simple as that. I don't know what to say, but um, yeah, on to Fulham next uh, in the league, so it should be three points. This should be, I hope, we bounce back for a win. Um, and then we've got Inter Milan and then Leeds to finish off. Uh, we did have Everton in the in the bundle of this, but for some reason it changed. And Everton now we have Everton um, in in uh, April, it's changed to 90 of April. Why I don't know, I think that's to do with probably Everton going through the next round of the FA Cup as well. Maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, so on to Fulham. Hopefully, we can get a better result here. But you know, I just, just I'm actually speechless. I really am. I, I'm gonna keep saying that probably, but actually speechless for that game. But yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, Fulham for a matter of three points to continue our push for that Premier League toll. Um, yeah, so three points. Hopefully, in the bag. Yeah, I can't get the ball. Just saying my life. Oh jeez. I just saying there. I can't get the ball. 1-0 Fulham, congratulations to be honest, that's, there's nothing wrong with that goal, obviously, but where are my players, I have absolutely no clue, um, okay, 1-0, we should have to come back in this, it's just literally nothing I can say about it, um, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say, I just, really? I've conceded so many goals. It's so bad. Oh my god! In the build-up to that, it changed to my set. I'm serious as well. This is the first time I've ever suffered this hard. What a start to this video. Losing to Liverpool, you kind of understand sometimes, but then this. I mean, I have absolutely no. Way. Again, they get lucky to get to get back up. Like he didn't go to the fourth, but to get that ball so quick as well. What the fuck is going on? Four one. That's all I have to say to it. I literally have no, no, no words. No more words. Oh. Four two. Again, no words. Great strike from Haaland. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Four two. Okay, fair play. Fair play. I stayed with him, but fair play. 5-2. We have officially lost. 
I'm beating record. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. What a shocking video this has been. It really has been. Five three. I mean, this is a crazy game. Great free from Highland. I think it's going to score that. To be fair, but. Yeah, it should be 4 3. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to come back in this with that extra goal. If I had a chance to come back, if I scored that at 4 3, that'd been good. But I can't see his coming back in it still. Alright, it's 5 4, but I mean, if we get that last kind of last four minutes of that extra time, I, I'll be shocked. But I can't see it. I just can't. So. They must, given the circumstances, time running out. Oh, wow. Holy moly. I swear down to you have not changed the difficulty or anything. What a game. What a game. And I'm going to say now, I mean, I've not said it once in all this game, but I know I've had it in my head. We don't deserve it. No way. We've been absolutely put with 4 0 down at one point. 4 0. Haaland has just literally changed this game. He's been all, all, all game, on, he's on, been on the pitch the whole 90 minutes. He's only just sh started showing up. Brilliant, obviously, but wow. What a game. Oh, my God. Wow, 5-5. Five, five. You know, honestly, I swear down to you, I have no clue what to say. Absolutely no clue what to say. You know what? I like to, I mean, of course, I'm happy to get a draw. We've still got unbeaten record, of course, but I'm not happy with that at all. The goals they scored, I just couldn't stop them. Literally, and I'm being serious, my team out there today was it's quite a lot of change. Obviously still adding email out of it, as you guys know. But I still got a decent team out there. Literally stats wise. I had two players that had bad sharpness, that was it. Maybe three actually, because I took one off, but and in the end I had two on the pitch. But yeah. I d I don't know. I, I honestly I don't see what what went right. I don't know why they just dominated, they just did. Five five though. What an end, what a game for the neutral, but that's all I can say to that, but I take a point. Okay, so on to our next game, we have none other than Inter Milan for the second leg. Um, it's not been a great video so far, for the neutral maybe, but out of the FA Cup to Liverpool, which in in, in awful, unfair, in un really unfair circumstances, I don't care what anyone thinks, it really is how we went out of that. Um, and then 5-5 five, five with Fulham, 15th place. I put out a weaker side than what I could do. I usually could put, a, I could could have put a stronger team out, but I thought, you know what, give players a chance. That's what I like to do. That's what it should be like, you know, realistically. And the players I had out there, they're still good. You know what? In the man, second leg, just to say before we go into it, I'll probably do the same because, you know, I'm against um, against in a man that we beat six 0 on the first leg. I can swap my team. And that's that's what I can do. That's how, the power I have, you know. So we shouldn't really lose. We shouldn't. I mean, we might lose like one, two nil or something, but we shouldn't lose seven nil or something like that. That's what you have to lose to to, you know, to lose the whole thing. So I can't see that happening. But you never know, of course. But five five Fulham, as I was saying, what a game! Honestly, for the neutral, what a game! Um, but we go on to uh, Inter Milan for the second leg to get through to the quarterfinals. So yeah, let's book our place for the quarterfinals. That's it. Jude Bellingham could make it one nil here. He does. It's a good start. Start well against Inter Milan, but it can't start well against Fulham. Absolutely amazes me. But hey, 1 0. It's a good start, like I said. Bellingham with one of his first goals for a while as well. Um, but yeah, 1 0. Like I said, good start. Oh! Two is that actually 2 0? Is that. It is. Alright, I don't know why I thought. I don't look really weird on the screen there. It looked like it was going to be offside, but I don't know how. It didn't, didn't look like offside, offside one bit. But Villalba makes that run there, it's a good ball in, it's a good diving header, um, sort of diving header, but yeah, 2-0, wow, dominating the man already like we did in the first leg. Oh, really? Alright, 2-1, uh, the poor goal back, it's probably not going to be enough to be fair, but I stayed with my man as well, I didn't think he was going to get far. Okay, Hakimi, obviously we've been a decent player in real life, he's obviously at PSG in real life, but yeah. Quality player, but yeah, it's a decent finish, I guess. But yeah, 2 1. Oh, go on. Yes! What a ball in from Villalba to find Ribeiro Vigario with a decent, clean header to make it 3 1 and to extend that two, well, to get that two goal lead back that we had. And uh, yeah, brilliant stuff. 3 1. 
there you go. That's it. Leoy into Vagaro for another goal. It is, it is 4 1. And we are now dominating this game. There you go. Completely game over. Awesome stuff. Oh, you... 4 2. <laughs> Just space there. Simple as that. I'm not as bothered as I always say, but yeah, annoying with that space there. Really is annoying. There you go. 4 2. And he's actually on the side. What the hell? Go on. Oh, it's 5 2. It's gone through the keeper's legs. How has that gone through? I don't know. I've just played a random ball in there. Silveri's hit it. It's gone right on the keeper's legs. 5 2. Jesus. It is 5 2. Um, shame we conceded two goals in this game, but it doesn't matter. Of course, we're still through. We've still got the win. Simple as that. Um, but there you go. You know what I mean? Dominate in the land, but not Fulham. I'll keep saying it, I don't care. Just how has that happened? I don't know. But there you go. Through to the next round. And that is all that matters, of course. Okay, so on to our next game and our final game, of course, of this video. We have Leeds United uh, in the Premier League game. So, big three points here. Um, Liverpool won their last game against Man City as well. They took three points from them, uh, which meant they moved two points closer to us. Um, obviously, on the table, as you see right here, um, it's not too bad. You know, it's our 30th game we're going into of the season. Um, 75 points, 6th draw we got against Fulham, which we were very lucky. We were so lucky to come back in that, we really were. Um, and I put my hands up, and honestly, I put my hand up and say we didn't deserve to win that. We didn't deserve to win it at all. Um, but you know, the, you know, the comeback spirit, I guess, I guess we deserved it in that sense, but you know, we didn't deserve it, no. So, uh, but Fulham, I mean, that point obviously helps them, they've got 31 points now. Um, but yeah, but that made it our sixth draw seems still unbeaten. Can we go unbeaten all seem be fantastic if we could. Um, but you know, we'll see what we can do. But um, yeah, crazy stuff, honestly, crazy stuff in this video today. But hopefully we can finish off with a, a win, a much needed win as well against Leeds uh, to continue our push to finish off the season strong. So yeah, Leeds United for three points. Hopefully we can get that. On Jovanovic! What a header! Great strong header, 1-0, and Jovanovic gets a start today, and uh, he started off well with a goal. <laughs> what more can you do? Awesome stuff. It's what we need in this Premier League game after a poor game, of course, against Fulham, as, as I keep saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 1-0, great strong header. There you go. Oh, go on. Hey, it is 2-0. It's not even offside as well. That's great stuff. That's great football. Leon at left side. And then coming back uh, to Familiano to then to play it to Valencia. 2 0. Great stuff. Oh. Shit. That's probably going to be red, isn't it? Oh, I, I didn't. Mm. You know, I'd like to say it's unfair. I, <coughs> I'm still going to say it's unfair because I, I actually generally didn't mean to. I generally didn't mean to, but you know what? Fine. Okay. I accept it because. So I did do it, but I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I didn't mean to, but yeah. Fuck's sake. <coughs> still miss. Wow. That's the second penalty I've conceded in this video, and they've both missed. Not the same game, but in the video. Wow. I'll take it, but a man down is kind of annoying. <laughs> Come on, Familiano. Come on. Come on, mate. Go for it. Yes, it's 3 0. Even with that man sent off. Familiano has gone and notched a goal for himself in the Premier League. Another goal. He's got a great goal ratio. I think it's only his ninth, maybe tenth in the season in all competitions. But it's, I think it's only his like ninth game as well. So he's had great goal to game ratio in most ways. So goal over game at least. And uh, brilliant stuff. Good goal as well. 3 0. Um, 3 1. With a player sent off. Probably don't deserve a clean sheet. They should really be fighting back, and they have with a goal there. But I don't see what's anything wrong with that defending. But there you go, three-one. I can't argue with it. All right, it's a three-one victory. It is a massive three points still in the bag. Of course, a weaker side out there. You know, you know me. I'm still confident in my players. You know, I still believe Fulham game we should have got probably three points. Obviously, the performance in general, no. As in how it happened, no, we didn't serve it. But before the game, you know, we should be getting the points. Simple as that. Um, but yeah, this one, you know, deserve it. Honestly, played brilliantly actually with these players. Uh, should have a couple more goals probably, but hey, um, 
a shame to not get a clean sheet either, uh, to be honest. But yeah, there you go, 3 1. Still big points, big points. Okay, so that is the end of that video there. All good, awesome stuff. You got the results, simple as that. Um, except, obviously, <laughs> as we all know, the Fulham game. Uh, but just to show you the table before we do check out and go back on the fixtures of what happened today. Um, obviously, as you see there, 24 wins now with that 3-1 victory over Leeds. We're now 78 points, still 10 points clear. Very strong uh, going into the last eight Premier League games of the season. And I'm happy with that. Of course, anyone would be. You know, why not? So, you know, and uh, we look set to defend the title and unbeaten as well, it looks to be. But, hey, we have to hold onto our horses there. We might not steal yet, um, but we have to still play the remaining fixtures and see what happens there so you know all good stuff like, like I said we got the win uh, got got the wins that we wanted to get um, we're the only team actually playing today um, on my next game which is West Ham so that's our game now I guess so if we win that you know there you go with 13 points clear <laughs> it's just crazy um, but yeah West Ham away be a tough game that um, I mean they sit 14 but still be a tough game to play um, but hopefully we can get the result so just to go back on the fixtures on how we actually did in this video, so as you guys obviously probably remember, uh, we go back on it. So 5-5 five, five with with Fulham was just ridiculous, honestly ridiculous. Was that the first game we did? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, sorry, no. We lost 2-1 to Liverpool, of course, in the FA Cup. That was a shame that we lost that. Um, you know, you know me. The circumstances that happened, we should have lost that. To be honest, I'll let you guys have your um, your say on that. Let me know in the comments if you think. It's just getting ridiculous now, and you obviously can't wait till FIFA 22 because I can't, I really can't. Hopefully, it's changed a bit, hopefully. Um, but 5 5 then with Fulham, probably didn't deserve a point, but hey, we came back in it. All happy with that in the end. Uh, then 5 2 victory over Inter, winning 10 2, was it? No, 11 2 on aggregate. Absolutely crazy, honestly, just demolished them. Uh, so we're through to the next round, which I'll show you in a bit who we've got. You might have actually just seen it, maybe, but um, have an interesting opponent in the next one. Um, but yeah, then we beat Leeds 3-1 to secure a decent video, of course, out of the FA Cup, which is the unfortunate thing. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, in our next Champions League tie, we have Real Madrid in the quarters. Interesting, we played them before, of course, we have had in the group stage before. So um, it's not going to be a walk in the park still, but still might be right, you know, you never know. So yeah, that is all from your boys, Sneeballs. Hopefully you guys, of course, enjoyed this as always. I leave a like. And subscribe as always again and thank you guys for the support again as always and uh yeah let me know what you guys thought so yeah i'll see you guys of course in the next video and hopefully we can push on to still defending that title so yeah like i said leave a like subscribe i'll see you guys in that next video peace